We're at Pilgrim Faith Church Food Pantry today at 9411 South 51st Avenue. With me today is Pastor Peggy McClanahan. She's a very popular lady about town. She's at a lot of events. Uh, and, and Peggy, you run a, a food pantry here, is that Our correct? Our church has had a food pantry here since the mid-60s. Wow, the mid-60s. I had no idea it went back that far. Yes. Okay. And uh, we're here because there's an urgent need for donations. And uh, I'm going to let you introduce your coordinators who will then talk to our residents uh, about what's going on. Okay, wonderful. I want to introduce our two uh, food pantry coordinators. Uh, if you guys want to come in, we're going to let you sit down in just a minute. But uh, with me today is uh, Russ Pluhar, who's been one of our pantry coordinators for almost 20 years, along with his wife, Grace. Over 20 years. I know they've been helping with the pantry longer than that. And Russ Honor, uh, right next to me, who's, I'm, I'm not sure, four or five years maybe you've been been, been working with us and uh, they do just a bang up job of running the pantry and making sure that we're able to serve all the people that are in need and they're going to tell you more about who we serve and um, how that all all works but I want to thank you guys for all that you do and um, you've built incredible connections with other organizations and churches in town and and do a a wonderful job of providing a service to people that are in need. So I'm going to let you talk with them. Okay, thank you so much, and thanks for opening your door to us for Channel 4, because I know residents are probably very interested about this. I've heard about it, but I've never personally, mm -hmm. you know, uh, seen it in action. So we're going to take a tour today and take a look at all the good work you guys do. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mayor. Thank you. So we're back here at, at the pantry, and behind us are some donations that we just received. And you get donations from around the area, don't you, gentlemen? Many places, yes. Many churches and fraternal organizations, individuals, uh, on a regular basis. We are blessed to have all the donations coming in that we do have. Now, how many food pantries, does anyone know how many are in the area? Is this the only one? Uh, no, no, there are many. Uh, I can't tell you all of them, but I, I know of at least three or four others that are in the Oakland area. Okay, very good. But this one has been going on since the 60s. 1964, it was established. Someone from uh, Family Services in Oakland called, them and they said they had a family that was needy. And mm -hmm. could uh, our associate pastor, Mr. Jim Bowler, at the, at the time... Uh, arranged to get some cash and was able to take care of the needy family at that time. And then uh, two ladies from our church, Mrs. Richardson and Mrs. Lindelsey, uh, decided that they thought they should start a food pantry, so uh, they purchased a two-foot-wide metal cabinet and stocked it with canned goods. Mm -hmm. And then when someone would come in and needed food, they would go and they would get the canned goods out of the cabinet and give it to them. So. They're the ones that really is first established the food pantry here at Pilgrim Faith. Do you have any idea how many families you serve? It varies. Uh, okay. We never know why or how many families we're going to have. Uh, last Tuesday we had 19 bags of food go out. Uh, previously, two weeks before that, we had 8 or 10 go out. Mm -hmm. So it uh, fluctuates. The need is there. We just do not know. We have... Uh, no knowledge of why or when they're going to come. Yeah, I imagine it's it's random and right. people uh, just come and no questions asked. Do they take what they need from the pantry? Well, they take what we can give. Them. Yeah, yeah. So um, what you can give is really why we're here because sometimes I understand lately so there were some organizations that had donations drives that didn't. So the the stocks are pretty low. Yes, uh, we did not receive as many as many donations as we normally do at the holiday time of the year. Mm -hmm. So uh, yes, we were a little short, uh, and uh, several of the organizations that normally do give us donations were not able to see, uh, have collections this yeah. year. So. Yeah. Well, we're here today because we're going to appeal to all Oakland residents to um, 
you know, help because people use this facility year round and yes. and the next big drive you're expecting is in May, you in said. May. Yes. So what you have is what you have till May and when you're talking about people coming and taking a few bags of groceries, um, it's it's gonna run out pretty quick. Yes. The supply dwindles quickly. Yeah, and I, I can't imagine how hard it would be to come to a food pantry trying to care for your family and then being turned away because there's nothing to give. And this has never happened in Oakland, has it? Fortunately, we have not okay. been in that situation, no. And, and uh, besides Oakland, you know, we, we serve six towns. Mm -hmm. Anyone who lives in one of the six towns, Burbank, hometown, Oakland, Chicago Ridge, Worth, and Elsip, and our only thing that we uh, we want is to have them prove residency in one mm -hmm. of those towns. Okay. That's our only uh, charge. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's incredible. That's incredible. And we'll have to appeal to those mayors to get the word out mm -hmm. as well, now that I have the list. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's, there's lots of items that come through here. I imagine there's some fresh things like bread and produce. But your staples are really uh, not that, is that correct? Yeah, we're normally canned goods and uh, boxed items that okay. uh, have a shelf life that, yeah. um, so that we can keep them. Yeah. Um, we do get produce from time to time. Uh, Richards High School is currently collecting produce mm -hmm. for us. And uh, every week we get um, oranges, apples, and uh, bananas mm -hmm. from them. And um, we are getting currently getting, we found another food pantry that is giving mm -hmm. us bread so that we can offer that to our clients. Cool. Um, we have a set uh, list of items that we pack in each bag mm -hmm. and so essentially we like to collect items um, that meet those our requirement okay. for that. So we we took a few items out and just to give residents an idea of the kind of things you're looking for, is that correct? Exactly. So, so um, we have, of course, peanut butter and jelly. Um, I imagine that's forever popular. Yes, every bag gets a jar of peanut butter or jelly. Okay. Um, sometimes both, depending. If you have it. Um, yes. Yeah. And then... Um, Fruit. We every bag gets a can of fruit, mm -hmm. and so we like to have that. Uh, pork and beans we're often uh, running short of. Oh, okay. So that is a, a desperate. And beans item. are a good source of protein Proteins. and and a very low cost source of protein exactly. and very healthy healthy source of protein. And spaghetti sauce. We, each bag gets spaghetti sauce, and that is something that we're often running low on, and uh, the spaghetti as well. Yeah. So we're happy to get yeah. those items for sure. Yeah, so so we're going to ask residents maybe to it, go through your shelves if you have some non-expired items that, you know, you're, you're maybe not getting to use with the family. Folks could sure use them here. Uh, or if you are feeling very generous when you're shopping, maybe pick up a few extra items to donate. And one of the problems that we face is that people think of us at Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our food comes in at Thanksgiving time and this is the food that normally would last us through the year but we our needs are very great often in the late spring and throughout the summer and that's when we really run low on things. Okay. So um, we're hoping that people will remember us sure, during sure. the summer. So donations can be brought here, and we'll, we'll also have on the screen other collection sites throughout the community. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, do you accept other donations besides food? Do you take money? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know I know we had uh, Mariano's open uh, a year ago, and they gave a very nice donation. $2,500 we collected from yeah. them, which now, was wonderful. Yeah, and so monetary donations allow you to you know, say, okay, we need um, these items, we don't have those items, so we're going to, uh, you know, stack the pantry with those. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it gives you flexibility. So very mm -hmm. good. So is there anything you'd like to tell our residents uh, about the food drive? Anything you want to, maybe a personal story uh, or anything that would, would help kind of? Since we are essentially uh, donation-based uh, 
we are very, very thankful to all the people that donate to us, and we're thankful for all the things that we get. Uh, there are organizations that have helped us greatly and continue to do so, and we are just very thankful for all the support we get from them. Thank you. Anything you want to add, sir? No, I'd, uh, I'd like to also put in a word of thanks and appreciation for all the wonderful helpers that we have here working in the food pantry in order to keep it going. Uh, we have a lady on the desk here every Tuesday and Friday, and mm -hmm. Russ Honor is our main packer of the bags of groceries, and he does a tremendous job with that. Now, I didn't ask, when is the food pantry open? When would people come for, uh, if there's someone watching maybe who has a need and doesn't know about this? We're available from 10 until 12 on Tuesdays and Fridays. Okay, 10 to 12, very good. Mm -hmm. And the address again is 9411 South 51st Avenue of Pilgrim Faith Church. It's the church with that big steeple. Uh, <laughs> but everyone, the iconic... Uh, Iconic one. We should mention that we uh, allow people to come and get a bag of groceries once a month. Okay. But we have bakery goods and bread out here and uh, fruit and vegetables and some canned kinds of canned goods that they can come and get every Tuesday and Friday. And uh, it's available to them. And we, uh, depending on how much we have out there, we'll determine how much they can take. That's wonderful. <laughs> and... Uh, Thank you. Anything else you want to add? No, thank you, Mary. Okay, Barry. We so appreciate so we much. yeah we really are imploring all residents to help with this, and and it, it means the world to have our residents and and our families and our community not not go hungry and not have that need. So and thank you for the work you do and you. the decades of service also. Um, the, these these types of gentlemen are what make Oaklawn fantastic. Uh, these unsung heroes, and I meet them every day. And these are these are two of them. And I thank you very much. And so thank we'll you. post the details after this interview. You could watch on your screen where you could drop off the items. And again, please support our food pantry. This collection drive will run through the end of March, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, having these these shelves overflow. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much.